Audio can make or break a film. In this three-part series, we'll cover everything you need to know to capture high-quality audio. In this episode, we'll cover the basics, types of microphones and mic positions, when to use them, and what each means for your audio. Let's start with the three main mic configurations. I've set them up here in the studio, and they are on-camera mic, lavalier mic, and a boom mic. What you're hearing right now is the final audio that's been processed in post-production, but I want you to hear the differences between these setups. If you can, listen to this video with a good pair of headphones. This is the unprocessed audio from the on-camera mic. Problem with this mic is that it's far from the subject, so you can hear the whole room. Basically, you're hearing two things. Room noise, which we call the noise floor, and an echo, which we call reverb. The noise floor is that low-level ambient noise every room has. You can hear it, right? And reverb happens in rooms that aren't properly treated for sound or don't have enough soft surfaces to keep the sound from bouncing around. To minimize this, we try to get the mic as close as possible to our subject. And one way to do that is by using a lavalier microphone. It's right here. It's also called a lav or a lapel mic. We'll switch to that now. The lav clips or tapes directly onto the subject's clothes and it can be wired or wireless. But lavs are omnidirectional mics, meaning they pick up everything around them, the sounds you want and those you don't. And then there's the boom mic. Notice how much better that sounds. It's close to the subject, but it's also directional, meaning it cancels out sounds that are off axis. For an interview setup, a boom mic is definitely the right choice. But which do you use in the field? Well, that depends on what you're shooting. Evelina and Mike will help demonstrate. So for run and gun style documentary work, a shotgun mic on the camera works fine. And it's not as clear as your other options, but it'll pick up on what's directly in front of the camera and minimize everything outside the frame. If you're able, have someone hold a boom near your subject. It really helps cut down on the ambient audio. And to help cut down on wind noise, you can use a windshield, like this one. I mean, compare this to the sound from our on-camera shotgun mic. It's so loud here. In film, the audio tech will swing the boom between subjects. Yeah, like we said earlier, the shotgun microphone has a better isolation, it has better sound quality. It's also possible because this is scripted, so he knows who's going to deliver the next line. I mean, unless somebody goes off script. Yeah, somebody goes off script like and he me. can't do that. Now he's dancing. <laughs> but if there's no way to frame the boom out of your shot, you're going to need to use a wireless lav. And if you have more than one subject, laving them both is sometimes the best option. Yeah, and just make sure you clip the mic on the side that they're facing. So that covers your basics. In audio, a small kit can go a long way if you use the right setup, and knowing the strengths of each configuration will give you the ability to make the right decision for your shoot. In the next episode, we'll tackle more advanced techniques, like types of boom mics and external recorders, so you can decide on the audio setup that's right for your production. Thanks for watching.